Hello, Matrix, and welcome again to another memo um, question. We are doing question nine of paper one of 2019. Uh, it's another calculus question, and it combines calculus with functions. Um, so this is a cubic function we're given, f of x equals 3x squared uh, cubed. And they are, we are asked to solve for f of x equals um, f prime of x, the derivative of x. So we know that f of x is equal to 3x cubed. So let's just find f of x so that we can then substitute that in. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we take 1 off the exponent, so it becomes 2. Okay, if you're not sure how I did that, just check out the calculus video with the explanations on how to do the um, basic uh, differentiation rule. Now we make these equal to each other. So we need to take the 9x cubed across make them equal to zero, take three out as a common factor, or three x squared out as a common factor, and we get x minus three equals zero, and so we have x equals zero, or x equals three. Okay, 9.2 says for which, for which graphs will, um, uh, zero, zero be a stationary point? Well, we know that um, if you substitute in zero for x for f of x, you get y. So zero, zero is a point on f of x. Um, zero, zero is also a point on f dash of x, because if you put in zero here for 9x squared, you'll get zero as well. And so, um, Let's, let's do f um, dash dash of x will equal 18x, okay. So there's, uh, what does a stationary point mean? A stationary point means where the slope is zero. So um, if we substitute in zero for our, um, f of x, we get zero. So in other words, f2 of zero equals zero. Um, what did we just say? 18 times zero, which is equal to zero. And remember, the double derivative is the derivative of the slope of f dash of x. So that means that that has a derivative of zero. And we also know that f dash of zero is Nine zero squared, which equals zero. Um, and now the finally, let's just do um, if the derivative of f double dash uh, of x is equal to eighteen, and so in that case, f of z f is equals to still 18. So we know that it doesn't have a graph, that we know that f double dash is not a stationary point. So we know that it's a stationary point for f of x and f dash of x. Let's just move that. Okay, so now let's look at these graphs quickly because it says explain the difference of any in the stationary points referred to in question 9.2.1. I'm not seeing any too many major differences here. So if we draw the graph um, of, let's look at the graph of f of x. So say we substitute in one, um, for x. Oh, there is going to be a bit of a difference. So if we substitute in 1 for um, x, 
we get y to be three. And if we substitute in two, um, two cubed eight, we get 24. So it's going sort of upwards like that. And if we substitute a negative, it's going, y becomes a negative because it's a cubic graph. So it kind of goes like this. Okay. And then for the x squared graph, um, well, we know that that's gonna look um, more like this because squared is going to be positive either way. So let's say, so, so 9.2.2, we can say that four, okay. For f of x, um, the stationary point, which is at zero, um, is not a max or min. Whereas um, for f dash of x um, at zero, we have a minimum. And I think that if you just draw that diagram in there as well, um, that is quite a nice way to explain it too. So, um, interesting uh, question. Haven't seen that before, but I'm pretty sure that um, you should get a mark for, for at least two marks for that. So, yeah. Um, I, the, there's no memo for this, so this is the memo because um, the department, as far as I checked last time on the site, they hadn't released a memo yet. Um, but yeah, I've done questions like this uh, at university. Um, but yeah, that was do a couple of extra different questions to test you. Um, okay, so now they want to determine, 9.3 says determine the vertical distance between um, graphs uh, if, um, dash one and f dash of x. So basically what that means is we just subtract the graphs from each other. So um, f dash of x we know is nine uh, x squared. Um, so we can say distance equals nine x squared minus, and then uh, it's 18 x is the f dash of x. And then we can just substitute in um, two for that. So, oh, not at uh, two, at one, I want it at one. one. Because remember, this will give you the Y value. So um, if we were to draw the graph, um, 18x, let's do that in green quickly. Very steep graph. What they want is the vertical distance between the two at one. So that could be something like this in the yellow line. And so basically they want the y value of f dash of x and the y value of f double dash of x at one. And so we have nine minus 18, k, okay, which is equal to um, negative 18, uh, sorry, negative nine. Therefore the distance is equal to nine because they're not asking for um, the, uh, so, th the, what, what they're saying is we, we know that they actually, if we look at the green line, it's higher 
than the than the um, blue line than the blue graph so that's why we would get a negative value when we did the blue minus the green so if anyone's familiar with absolute values um, absolute value means that whatever the number is you take it as positive so what we could do is we could just to be strictly mathematically correct we could this is, means absolute value, but you really don't have to know that. Um, and we need to say units. Okay. Uh, there's a video on absolute values uh, that I've done for AP Maths. If anyone's interested, just uh, send me a, a little message in the um, comments. Um, send me an email, whatever you need to do to get hold of me, and I will hook you up with that. And um, then the next question says, for which values of f is f of x greater, a minus f, of uh, f dash of x uh, greater, uh, less than one? Okay, so what we have to do here is we have to actually put the values in and solve and then get the critical values. So we're gonna do that now. Um, so we don't have a lot of space, so I'm gonna do a slightly smaller pen here. 9.4, um, so f of x is uh, 3x cubed minus f dash of x is um, 9x squared. And we're doing what's called the critical value. So we're not solving essentially, we're saying the critical value. So we're gonna look at this graph that I've drawn here and we're going to see, um, we're going to use that to find out where they intersect. So um, we take out x, 3x squared as a common factor. We've already done that, haven't we? And we've got, um, we have already done that. We've got x equals 3 and uh, x equals 0 and x equals 3. So we got them to be. Uh, Okay, so we don't actually have to do this. It was done in question 9.1. So now we know that they intersect. I'm going to do, should I do it in yellow where they intersect? They intersect at zero and three. Okay. Okay, so the values, the critical values are three and uh, zero. So now what we need to do is we need to just quickly put those into um, a number line. So we have, um, zero and three. And we're gonna check where it's positive and where it's negative. So let's do one, let's put one in. So three times one cubed is three, minus nine is nine, so that's negative over here. If we put a number greater than three, so say five, we get um, a huge number here. Um, so as, if this is bigger, it's gonna be positive because this five cubed is much bigger than 25. Okay, it's 125. So you, here you get 375, and then nine times 25 is 225. So, and then when it is less than zero, so say negative, um, let's make a negative one. Three times negative one is negative three, minus nine is going to be negative. Okay, let's just double check that three times. That's a negative. And then when you make that a negative, it's also a negative. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, so if we look down here, the red um, is the f of x. And so the, where it's less than zero, so it's going to be
Sorry, I just uh, had a baby uh, crying, so I just need to quickly finish this off. So where is it true? Where is it less than zero? It's going to be where x is less than three. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.